Welcome back. Now, before we, we started all of this, I promise you we're going to have a, a cracker of a show. Some interesting people that we're going to be speaking to, uh, some more in-depth detail of some of the, the big and interesting stories. Well, tonight uh, we're also speaking to a true giant, but this time in a different sport. He has won everything in South Africa and is a household name in the international canoeing world. Uh, from our Durban studios, we welcome Hank McGregor. Good evening and thanks very much for joining us, Hank. Thanks for having me. Hank, uh, here's, here's uh, you know, very interesting that um, you, the, the, the reports that you were planning to quit the marathon scene. Can you clarify that for us? Is that true? And if so, why? Yeah, look, um, I've got uh, more than one discipline that I participate in, in, in the paddling, uh, um, like of paddling sports. Um, I do a lot of ocean racing, um, which takes me around the world uh, to some of the most exotic places. And... Um, some of the big races clash with uh, the canoeing uh, sort of calendar. So um, I decided to maybe give a break uh, from canoeing this, this season and, and maybe focus on, on more of the ocean racing and try and win the World uh, Surf Ski Series. And, um, and maybe if, if I could, maybe I could participate in, uh, in, in our national trial, which is normally the same week or the weekend after one of the biggest surf ski races in Hawaii. So. I uh, decided to maybe uh, give paddling a miss, uh, canoeing a miss, but uh, fortunately I, was, uh, I came back in time and I managed to win the national title and uh, get me a slot in the national team to go to World Champs this year. All right, very interesting. Now, um, uh, canoeing is not one of the, uh, the, the, the high-profile sports that are recognized in the South African sports scene. Uh, I can imagine it must be uh, quite a challenge and possibly even a drain on your personal pocket can you tell us a little bit about some of the financial challenges you face as a canoeist and, uh, and, and how you manage those? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's not the cheapest sport uh, in the world for sure. Um, and like you say, it's not the biggest uh, profile sport in, in our country. And, um, you know, sponsors are few and far between to, and to find, you know. And, and I'm fortunate enough, I've, I've been uh, sponsored uh, financially by um, one or two companies and uh, they help me travel the world and also get to, to some of the places where, you know, necessarily it's not per profiled uh, back home, but um, on an on international scene, it's, it's quite well recognized. So, yeah, it's quite tough. And um, obviously, to try and transport your boats around the world, is, it's, it's not the easiest uh, object. Some of them are six, six and a half meters long, like a surf ski, and a canoe is like five and a half meters long. So you can't just put it in your, your hand luggage and take it on the plane. So, yeah. you know, you've got to prep uh, quite a long time in advance, um, you know, especially if you're traveling to Europe or, or some places like Hawaii or Tahiti or Mauritius, you know. So, yeah, big, big thanks to my sponsors um, for all their support to get me around the world. Another figure that's been quite key in your career is your dad. Um, uh, from what I believe, you, you and your dad have had uh, one or two uh, important and crucial bonding moments. One of them being uh, when, when uh, you were on his yacht sailing to the Caribbean. Can you tell us a little bit about what, on, what went on there? Yeah, look, um, my dad and I have had a, had a great, uh, great connection. Um, you know, it's, it's always been tough being, uh, being my father and, and my coach at the same time, you know. There was always that, uh, that point where there was a, you know, you didn't really know if you uh, if you're listening to the coach or your father if it was uh, if he was <laughs> disappointed or excited with your result. But um, at the end of the day, he's always going to be my dad, and he'll always be my coach. And um, you know, we've brought back uh, eight world titles now to South Africa in, in canoeing, and and enough surf ski race uh, titles from around the world. So um, we've had a great bond, and and he's encouraging uh, you know the new youth of, of today to. Um, to obviously achieve what I've achieved and, and maybe better what I've got. So, uh, you know, uh, my dad and I always always have that bond and uh, it's always been special. Yeah, now something definitely to, uh, to nurture and, and, and uh, also for us to celebrate, you know, a father who's a coach who's actually helping his son to get to the point where he brings back eight world titles. Uh, you know, um, there's something else I heard about. Uh, there was a... Um, the, the, you're sitting from Durban to the United States, and, uh, and you had an interesting challenge uh, in, in, in Luderus, off the Namibian coast, right? Uh, can you share that with our viewers? Yeah, for sure. We, um, we set sail from, from Cape Town, um, my father and my, and my mother, and uh, 
my dad thought the wind was going to uh, help us um, get to the Caribbean. So the, the stronger the wind, the, the faster we would get there. Um, unfortunately, the surf got a bit too big and uh, we flipped the boat uh, about 400 miles um, into uh, across uh, across the you know on our way to the Caribbean so it was a scary 70 uh, 72 hours of bailing water and um, you know it was a survival survival moment for for our family and um, we managed to survive and like the sayings what uh, what what doesn't kill you makes you stronger so I guess um, and from there on yeah, yeah I've managed to, to survive the oceans and, and also win. When's the movie coming out? <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we had some footage um, of us and, uh, and ships disappearing around us when that, when that storm was out there. And, wow. um, yeah, like it, it, wasn't, it wasn't the best of scenes, but um, I'll never forget them. And, uh, and, I, and I must admit, when I paddle on the ocean today, I, I appreciate uh, every opportunity that I have. No, certainly amazing story that. I mean, and I'm, I'm sure that's only just one of the, the thousands of stories you could share with uh, different people uh, had they had at the time. Uh, before we close off, I just want to ask you about that victory in Sweden at the World Champs in 1996. Share with us. Yeah, look, it was, uh, that was my first world title. Um, it was the first junior world title for South Africa in, in men's. And... Um, I remember leaving South Africa and my, and my father still um, gave me a bit of an ultimatum, said, uh, you know, if you don't win um, and you don't break away, um, when you get back to South Africa, I'll sell every boat and, uh, that you have and, and you'll go to Vasti like a normal kid and, um, you know, the rest is up to you. So uh, anyway, I'm, I managed to uh, fortunately break away and um, won by a couple of minutes. Wow. and brought back South Africa's first junior gold medal. And um, I guess I've never looked back since then. I realized that I was capable of, of some special things. And, and uh, I guess now, eight world senior titles, um, it came, all my dreams came true. There's nothing like motivation now to get you to do something, isn't it? That's, uh, that's where I say I had a dad and a coach all in the same package. Now, phenomenal stuff. Hank McGregor, thank you so much for, uh, for sharing these experiences with us. Uh, I sure enjoyed this conversation, uh, and I hope that uh, all the best for you going into the next couple of races, and uh, in fact, for the rest of your career. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. There you go. It's Hank McGregor, nominee for South African and uh, paddle, uh, Paddler of the Year, chatting to us from our Durban studios. Are we going to take a short break?